Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, Ion Space and StarSEM are delighted to announce that the 34 satellites entrusted on the Soyuz launch have been safely separated as planned on their targeted low Earth orbit. This first 1-1 launch from the Russian Cosmodromes is a bright success for all our partners, Ariane Space and our Russian partners. Congratulations to all. Tonight, we celebrate the 50th Soyuz operated in partnership between Ariane Space, StarSEM, and Roscosmos, and we celebrate the second launch of OneWeb. I would like to address my warmest thanks to OneWeb CEO Adrian Steckel and his teams who do not count their efforts in the work towards the full deployment of OneWeb first generation. Thank you, Adrian, for being with us tonight and for sharing this great event with us. Adding to the inaugural mission last year in French Guiana, this 27 mission from Baikonur is another step towards making OneWeb global network a reality. Tonight, this launch also opens a series of up to nine other launches in 2020 for the benefit of OneWeb. We will have up to six launches from Baikonur and Vostochny, two from the French Guiana, and I shall also mention the Ariane 62 maiden flight by the end of the year. For having manufactured and delivered the 34th spacecraft to Baikonur in a record time, let me also congratulate the Constellation's prime contractor, OneWeb Satellites, and their teams in Toulouse and Florida. I would like to thank Tony Gingins, CEO of OneWeb Satellites, for his renewed trust and for being with us tonight. We are looking forward to receiving and launching many more of your satellites. Ladies and gentlemen, for its return to Baikonur after a seven years gap, Ariane Space and StarSEM are delighted to celebrate here a new success, the second one of 2020 for Ariane Space. Baikonur being so closely linked to Kazakhstan, let me first address my deepest gratitude to the Kazakhstan delegation led by Mr. Zuma Galiyev, Minister for Digital Development, Innovation and Aerospace Industry. I would also like to thank another distinguished guest of ours, Mr. Dimitri Rogozin, General Director of the Russian State Corporation Roscosmos. Your involvement means a lot. The Soyuz collaboration is stronger than ever. For sure, such a success wouldn't have been possible without all our Russian partners. Let me thank Roscosmos, as well as Klavkosmos, RKC Progress, and P.O. Lavochkin, Fregat did a lot tonight for this mission, and thank you. From Baikonur to CAG, what a successful team. I would also like to mention the fact that the dispenser was made by RUAG. RUAG is a shareholder of Ariane Space. RUAG is a key player of Ariane, thanks to the fairing. And we are very happy that RUAG has made the dispenser for the OneWeb satellites. Of course, I would like to pay my tribute to all my StarSEM and Ion Space team. As I have said, we, were, um, we, were, we have been a bit uh, away from Baikonur since seven years, and we are very happy and proud to be all together back in Baikonur tonight. So now I would like uh, to uh, welcome on stage uh, Adrian Steckel, CEO of OneWeb. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Stefan. Thank you to everybody who's here. Uh, and I want to thank uh, Soyuz uh, and Ariane Espace for putting up and organizing the Soyuz launch that we had. Uh, for us, it's a big day. Uh, 34 satellites went up. Uh, the separations uh, were done. We can sense all the satellites. Uh, and this is an important step in deploying our full constellation. Uh, and uh, we'll be back in Baikonur very soon in the month of March. Uh, with our next batch, which is getting produced uh, and will be being shipped out to Baikonur uh, between the 17th of February and the 20th. And that's a testament to our assembly line uh, approach uh, and the success of our factory. And this is really a tribute to everybody at OneWeb Satellites, uh, all of the uh, 
uh, personnel at uh, Roscosmos uh, and our NSPAS that helped us, uh, and a great team effort at OneWeb also. Uh, we're, we're getting there, and uh, can't wait to be in service to, uh, two years from now. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, and uh, thank you, Stefan, for your kind words, and we look forward to continuing our deep partnership with Ariane Espas, uh, as well as with uh, Soyuz, uh, and I can see Tony has just gotten here, and uh, anyway, it's been a terrific morning, uh, and uh, uh, a lot of stuff for us to do, get ready for the next launch uh, right away. Uh, thank you again. Tony? Thanks a lot, Adrian. Um, look, it's a really exciting day for uh, the, the larger OneWeb venture, and I think OneWeb satellites being part of that, we're just privileged to, uh, to be part of it. Uh, thrilled to see the launch last night. For me, it was my first night launch, so it was a pretty exciting thing. I think the uh, excitement that everyone felt, I was feeling as well. And uh, as I said, when we saw the satellites on the dispenser in the film that we saw yesterday, it was really amazing. So I, I just want to say thank you to uh, OneWeb. I think it's been an incredible opportunity that we've had in building these 34 satellites. It's just the beginning. It's not the end. And uh, so we have a lot more to go, but we're, we're ready for it. And we're, we're into batch two already, so we're excited about that. And, uh, and I just want to thank Ariane Spas for a great ride. It was uh, so far so good, and everything's looking well. And uh, we're just happy to uh, take it to the next level and continue to support OneWeb and building out the constellation. So I want to thank everyone um, and uh, just say, uh, you know, bon voyage onto the, next, uh, onto the next batch. So thanks a lot. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you again for having shared uh, this uh, exciting uh, moment and night with us. I would like now to announce our third mission of the year, and uh, we will be back in French Guiana on February the 18th. It will be with an Ariane 5, and we will have uh, the honor and the privilege to deliver for two long-lasting uh, customers of uh, Ariane Space the Japanese customer SkyPerfect GSAT, it will be the satellite GCSAT 17, and the Korean space agency CARI for GeoComSat 2B. So uh, it will be from the French Guiana, February the 18th, and it will be another great story. Thank you so much.